When we talk to someone, we look at their face. The face of a clock is where we look to tell the time. A clock face has large numbers for the hours, and some clocks have smaller numbers for the minutes, like these blue numbers here. A clock face also has two hands, the long hand, which is also called the minute hand, and the short hand, which is also called the hour hand. The long hand goes all the way around the clock once each hour. You notice the hour hand only went from one number to the next. Every hour the long hand goes all the way around, and the short hand just goes from one number to the next. We say this time is 6 o'clock. This time is 7 o'clock. This time is 8 o'clock. You notice that each time the minute hand makes a complete circle, the hour hand only advances one number. When the hour hand is behind the minute hand up at the top of the clock, that is 12 o'clock. We write time by writing the hours first and then the minutes. We put a colon in between the hours and the minutes so that we can tell them apart. This would be 1 o'clock. The hour hand is written first, and then the minute hand is written second. Now when it's 1 o'clock, there are no extra minutes. It's just the hour. Later on, there will be more minutes, but right now there aren't any. So we put two zeros to show that there are no minutes. At 2 o'clock, we put two first, and then the zeros to show that there are no minutes. Now on this clock, the red hour hand goes with the red numbers, and the blue minute hand goes with the blue numbers. Now we don't write 260. We say 2 o'clock. They just put a 60 there to show, remind you that there are 60 minutes in the hour. But we just write it 2 o'clock. This is 3 o'clock. After watching this video, your child is ready to practice his skills at telling time on a clock. The Step-by-Step -step Math Telling Time book is a good book to use for this practice. Your child is ready to complete the pages that deal with telling time to the hour. We encourage you to do all the work, but not all in one day, and to end the time with a fun activity requiring some scissors and glue as they cut out and make their own clock. In the back of the book, there is also a clock that they may cut out and use to practice telling different times, or a clock like this one may be purchased from Summer Book Company.